welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today I woke up feeling like it would be really fun to film a day in my life kind of vlog style video. So that's what I'm doing today. These little hairs are driving me crazy. <laughs> anyway, today on the agenda, my big project that I want to do is trying to paint the fireplace tile. I don't think it's going to be too difficult and I don't think it'll take me that long but I just want to make sure that I go about it the right way so I just need to do a little bit more research on that. I might need to pick up some painter's tape so that I don't, you know, paint the carpet but I'm really excited for that project. I think it's really going to just transform our living room but I'm actually going to show you the fireplace right now so that you can get an idea of what I want to do. It's very simple, I just want to paint the tile white. So here is the fireplace currently. This mantle isn't styled or anything. These are kind of just things that we threw up there during the move. And yeah, I really, really like this fireplace. I love that there's no gold detailing on it because I feel like it's really common in older houses to have kind of like a gold rim around the fireplace. And they made it really easy on me because they didn't do that. It's just all black and then this kind of tan tile. All right, so fast forward a little bit. I went to the hardware store because I did need some new foam rollers and this is actually not really the kind that I wanted, but this is all that they had. So I might use this or I might use the old one that I already have. Um, it felt a little bit stiff with some caked on paint, but it might work better than these. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm, I'm gonna attempt it in just a few minutes here. I really need to clean up my kitchen a little bit. It's pretty messy and I really don't want to do it because I want to do the fun thing and do the project but I know that I'll feel a lot better once I get the dishes done and all of that taken care of so that's what I'm gonna do but first I'm actually gonna make my husband Mark a apple cider creamy drink that I made for him last week and he says that it was like the best fall drink that he's ever had so I'm gonna try to replicate it um, I didn't measure anything I just kind of threw it all together but I thought I'd share it on here because it was so so good so yeah I just thought it'd be fun to share a cozy fall drink idea on here and hopefully it will turn out just as good as last time <laughs> like apple cider but taken to the next level with the cream. I highly recommend making this if you are into apple cider and please let me know if you do make it. I don't really know what to call it. It's just like a, like a creamy apple cider. So if you have any name suggestions for this yummy creation, then please let me know. But yeah, I want to get started on my project. So fast forward a few days later, um, I ended up having to take a break from that painting project pretty much as soon as I started because I realized that I had just the wrong type of roller. It wasn't working out very well and I ended up having to go to a different store to get the right type of roller. So I'll show you what I had used previously was this type. Um, this is just like your basic foam type 
roller, um, but really what you want for smooth surfaces is going to be something more like this, which is a cabinet roller technically, but it works so well on just any type of smooth surface. So I am going to continue with my project now. I'm going to try to whip it out as fast as I can. I really don't think it's going to take me that long now that I have the right tool and it's not going to leave any really bad um, like bumpy texture on the tiles and yeah I'm gonna get started now got the first coat of primer on and I think it's looking really good it's obviously gonna need a couple coats of paint on top of this but this is just the primer to make sure that it adheres to the tiles properly and lasts for as long as possible so yeah I'm gonna let this dry for a while I need to actually read the can and see how long I'm supposed to let this dry for but yeah I'm really excited I am one step closer the neighbor is mowing a lawn so it's pretty loud but since I didn't get to finish a full day in my life from the beginning of this video that other day I'm just gonna continue today to vlog the rest of today um, so yeah, my husband Mark just got home. He picked up some things from the grocery store. So I'm gonna help him unload those from the car real quick. And then I'm actually going to try my hand at making some homemade tortillas today. I have a pot of beans on the stove that's been cooking for quite a while now. It's getting really close. And I'm going to blend those up to make them into refried beans. And um, yeah, I thought it would be fun to have some really fresh yummy corn tortillas with it. A few weeks ago, I ordered a bag of organic corn masa to make tortillas with, and then I just ordered a tortilla press that came in the mail yesterday, I think. So I am going to see how that goes. It seems pretty simple, and nothing beats a fresh tortilla. It's the best. Hey. Hey, baby. <laughs> so here are my beans. They run pretty low on water, but that's okay, because I think I'm gonna turn them off right now. I think that they are done and I'm going to get my immersion blender and blend these up. I might actually take some out. Um, I made a huge pot because I like to freeze them in individual portions so that I always have beans on hand. testing some new smoke detectors back there, but I'm about to test these beans. Are you going to try me? The beans are really good. They need a little salt though. All right, so I'm sitting down to try to find a recipe for some tortillas. I really like to follow um, recipes on YouTube. So for something like this, it'll probably be easier to follow a video than to follow just written instructions. So whichever one I end up following, I'll just link below so that if you want to make these too, you can follow the same recipe that I use if it turns out well. Um, and then this is the organic corn masa that I bought from Amazon. I believe this was around $16 for five pounds. So one of the whole reasons that I really wanted to experiment with making my own tortillas. I wanted to be able to make it myself using organic masa. If you've ever looked at um, buying healthier, more natural organic tortillas, they're just really expensive. So that's always an option, but I would rather make them myself if it's more cost effective. So I'm going to get started. This is much more wet than the one in the video that I watched, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the masa, but it smells amazing. Doesn't it smell good? It smells incredible. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna wet with my hand, just add in a little bit more. 
cameraman approved. This is kind of a trial and error to get it to be the right consistency. And then once it's good, then the video I watched said to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes to let it sit. So it kind of lets the masa rehydrate and helps it not to be sticky. So I got my helpful assistant back here. Um, we've experienced some technical difficulties <laughs> with these tortillas and so we kind of forgot to video it. Basically I, I think that I don't have the dough texture quite right. I think it's a little too wet so they're kind of falling apart and they're really hard to transfer to the pan but we did have one successful one, almost two. There's another in the pan and we actually ate the first one already. It was so so good. Did you like it? That's amazing. Look at this beautiful thing. Ooh, that's perfect. It's gorgeous. So it has a little smiley face on it. <laughs> so I feel like I would call this a semi-success. It definitely needs some tweaking and some practice to get it right. Because the dough wasn't quite right, the tortillas are pretty firm when they're cooked up. They're not, they're really not very pliable at all. Um, but I think, you know, with practice, I'll be able to get it. So it has been a very productive evening. Pretty soon we're gonna go downstairs, go downstairs to the basement and finish the movie we started last night. We started watching Haunted Mansion to get into the spooky festive mood. Um, and I had never seen it before and neither had he, but we were both really, really enjoying it and it really made me want to go to Disneyland so bad. I miss it. Um, but yeah, we made it about halfway through the movie when I started to fall asleep. So I think we're going to finish that tonight. I'm going to continue this vlog into tomorrow so that I can do the second coat of paint on the fireplace and you can see the finished product because I don't want to just leave you hanging. It's definitely not done yet. It needs another coat of paint, but it's looking so good. This is a day in my life video, but really this is going to be like three days in my life. Um, but I hope you don't mind. I just want to show you the finished fireplace all right guys so the fireplace is all done and i absolutely love how it turned out i think it looks so much better than the tan tile before and i still don't have the mantle style or anything um these are just kind of random things that we have up here for the time being but i'm so happy with this so if you are thinking about painting your fireplace tile i would highly recommend it was a super easy project hardly took any time once i got the right type of rollers and i think it looks so much better than it did before so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here thank you so much for watching and spending this day slash days with me and if you would like to, I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back really soon. 